So, guys, for the first time ever, we will be able to see the fan game project that the uh, a team of dedicated and very talented fans have been working on for, I, I think, about a year now, right? Th th thereabouts. Um, everyone's been waiting for it. Uh, I know we've been kind of ambiguous about whether or not it was going to happen in the past. Um, but some fans took it upon themselves, and they have for me now a playable demo for the very first time, uh, and, uh, it's very, very exciting. I'm, I'm very pumped. I haven't played it yet. All right, uh, let's go. Let's go. Press enter. Here we go. New game. Here we go. Zigdang demo. Gameplay is not final. Things are subject to change. Wake up, Professor S Oh boy, let's see if I can pronounce it. I don't actually know any of the characters' names. The the writing team has made up all of the characters' names. Prefer Professor Sieba is here. She has something important to ask you. Oh my god. <gasps> Look at the background! The background looks like the subjectively background. Good morning. No need to rush this no need to rush for this old lady. Take as much time as you need to get ready. Get ready. I'm gonna get ready. I gotta go. Hmm. I don't know if the characters' names are still uh Omero and uh, Peppa, but, uh, I'll go with Omero. I'm ready. <gasps> Look how cute she is! Oh my god, the professor! I have not seen her yet! Professor Sieba. Siba! Oh, thank you for the pronunciation. Professor Siba. I'm assuming this is a type of tree, of course. Adorable. Is it possible that you've grown more since the last time I saw you? What was it now, a week ago? <laughs> Perhaps my old eyes are just deceiving me. Anyway, I was going to ask you something. What was it? Right. I received a last minute offer to conduct some research over in Unova, which I simply could not decline. I'll be away for a few weeks, so I was wondering if you would like me, if you would like to take care of these three Pokemon for me while I am gone. <gasps> I wonder what three Pokemon they will be. <laughs> there they are. Look at those little bastards. Hmm. Uh, I like, this is like how in the newer Pokemon games where they don't give you the option to say no. You can either be enthusiastic or hesitant. I'm enthusiastic. I'll take care of those guys. Look at those little guys. See, these are the Pokemon that new trainers here in the Maza get to choose from to bring as their first partners on their journeys. Before then, they all deserve high quality care. Oh, interesting. So uh, it doesn't seem like I'm picking my starter just yet. It seems like I, I have all of them. I have access to all of them. All right, how are you feeling? Oh, oh! There's a- there are difficulties! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait, I think some of the devs told me about this. You know what? Explain the differences. Normal mode. Easier teams for trainers. Soft level cap on EXP. Overleveling is harder. Using items in trainer battle. Limited to three items for battle. Whoa! That's cool! Trainer teams for trainers, hard level cap on EXP prevents overleveling. Using items in trainer battle is not allowed. Whoa! Okay, so that's interesting. There's no easy mode. There's no easy mode. There's only normal and hard. There's no mode that plays like a regular Pokemon game. Um, you know what? I'll go hard mode. Give me the hard difficulty. I know you can do it. And if you ever need help, your parents will be there for you. Of course. Thank you. Thank you, Mom and Dad. They are experienced trainers after all, of course. All right, one last thing. I can't believe this is something I have. you have to do now. I'm going to need you to sign this paper. <gasps> Thanks for that, tough guy. Oh my goodness, what is my name going to be? How many characters can I make it? Can I make, can I fit subjectively? No, subjectival. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's go, Jack. What are your pronouns? I go by he, him. Pronouns are he, him, yes, please. See, why can't Pokemon games do that? Just put in the preferred pronouns at the beginning of the game. Brilliant. Now this paper is only to show the safety of the Pokemon. Of course, I don't think you have it in you to hurt them. It's just a formality. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. This paper is actually quite unnecessary anyway. I should be able to determine- <gasps> <laughs> Santo Arceus! Time really starts moving quicker with age. I'll be late if I don't leave immediately. I think that was everything I had to say, though. I trust that you will do an excellent job, Jack. Good luck. 
and see you in two weeks. All right. Thank you, Professor Siba. So far, I love the, the improvements that have been made on the traditional Pokemon formula. Dad, I have a dad? <gasps> a dad in a Pokemon game, unheard of. Wake up, Jack. Professor Siba is here to pick up the Pokemon. Oh, so, okay, so I've been bonding with all of the Pokemon for two weeks. That's cute. Better head outside now if you want a chance to say goodbye to them. Oh, no. I have to say goodbye. <gasps> here we- Oh, look at the magic harps! Oh, objectives. Oh, cool. <sighs> the options menu. Look at the magic harps. No way. Collector edition magic harp toys are very valuable. Stop. You guys did that for me. No way you put magic harps in there. Look at this. Very valuable. Very valuable. Oh, come on. That's awesome. All right, let me see my Nintendo Switch. <laughs> the Choco Drag Taco! Some of the creators of Drag Taco are bringing fairy sweetness to the roaring dragon flavor you know and love. Find now in your local supermarket and sweet shops. Come on! There's my Switch over here. It has my favorite game on it. You've thought about making fan game sequel to it, but you've read articles online where that has not gone well for people. And then this cease and desist stream gets cut short. <laughs> Is that my dad? No way, I have a dad! Morning, Jack. Now that you're done taking care of the Pokemon, how will we find a new hobby to dip your toes into? League of Legends. Speaking from the heart, I think it'd build character for you to consider journeying away from the sedentary town. Very true, Dad. Very true. What is this? Is my dad a progressivist? Maybe my mother is a traditionalist. You know, at your age, I had already left to take on the gym challenge. All right, Dad. Don't stop pressuring me so much. Speaking of your mom, she's outside talking to Professor Siva right now. Why don't you go join them? He heard me. He heard me talk about it. Look how cute this house is! Kids these days. Say they do less than a month's mache. Oh, okay. Okay, so my mom's a, my mom's a bit of a conservative over here. Months mache do plenty, actually. You'd be surprised at how active and playful they are. Oh my god. I already love Professor Siba so much. Oh, I love that. I love I, that. That's such a nostalgic Pokemon thing to have, like, the onomatopoeia of the the trainer, the 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 characters talking. You don't notice this uh this pot leaping up here? Kind of sussy pot. Do you know they actually inspired the creation of pinatas? Isn't that interesting? Aha! So it's it's the other way around. We thought that Jack taking care of your Pokemon would inspire him to explore the region already. Oh god. Oh god. My parents, they want me to leave the house. I can tell he has a love for Pokemon, but he doesn't seem to have any desire to interact with them unless they are in our house. Oh my god. Why why is this why is this so real right now? Why is this so real? Why are they doing me like this? There's plenty of motivation for him to go on a journey, and that extends past the gym challenge. Trust me, I'm certain I can get Jack to realize that the Maza has much more to offer and explore. All right, Siba. I, I have a migraine. I don't feel like leaving the house today. Look how beautiful this town is, guys. Look at this sprite work. I mean, this looks official, and this is all made from the ground up. This team made this themselves. Like, these are all assets made for this game. That's incredible. Good morning, sweetie. Did you sleep well? I don't know, Mom. Was I not being productive enough in my sleep? I assume you're up this early to say farewell to the Pokemon you've so kindly taken care of for me. I am. Your mom told me how strong of a bond you form with them. Well, they're right here, so go ahead and say... <gasps> Where have they gone off to? <gasps> do I have to find them? Maybe they're hiding. They do love to play games. Will you go find them for me, please? Here are their Pokeballs. Oh, guys, this is so cute! This is so cute! They should be more than happy to jump back into them once you find them. Look at the hopping pot. I wonder if a Malakata would be in there. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay, well Malakata found him. <gasps> There's Porsite! Look at him in the water! No, Porsite, come back! He's being difficult. They're all so difficult. 
Now, where would Quetzalil be hiding? Yes, there will be a link to the game on the YouTube channel as soon as it's available. There's Quetzalil, and I'll be sure to make announcements, and this uh, stream will be uploaded to YouTube as well. Hey, <laughs> come back here. Of course, wait, I forgot, how do I, how do I run? <gasps> Look at the mailbox! The mailbox is a Bathy Gigas. Run is Z? Oh, I guess I haven't gotten my shoes yet. I haven't gotten my running shoes yet. <laughs> Gets a little, of course, the most annoying one. You're trapped now, you little son of a bitch. You certainly found all of them quickly. These three are quite the troublemakers, they really are. I chose them specifically for the cultural impact each one of them has had on the Maza region. Smart. I like that. I... The... The integration of the very loosely structured lore that I've made so far into something really cohesive and, and consistent is awesome already. Already this writing is phenomenal. So much- it, it's like, it's actually better than most core Thank series you, Pokemon guy. games, or at least the older ones. Because I feel like the older Pokemon games kind of, you know, they knew the target audience was younger, so they kind of dumbed down the writing a little bit. But I like how this is clearly written by adults. For, that, tough guy. for maybe not for adults, but for like 14 and up. Ugh, oh, fantastic. Oh, why don't you help me carry them to the lab and I can show you the research that I led me to choose them. Excellent idea, Siba. I'm sure you'll like what, ha what Siba has to show you, Jack. Yeah, Jack, go with Siba. Your mom and I have just have learned just about all there is to know from her. Now it's your turn. Oh, but you left your running shoes inside. Thank you, Dad. Appreciate it. Meet me in your lab when you're ready. <laughs> Santo Arceus. I love that. <laughs> I hope I've been waiting too long. We'll be inside if you need us here. Look, here comes the night cycle. Guys, there's a day night cycle. It's nighttime now. All right, so let me let me check out my. Uh, my objectives. Well, let's we'll, we'll throw another save in there. Let's check out my objectives. Saying goodbye. Oh, this is. Look at my dad! My dad is so cute. Stop! It's so cute. Oh, this is cool. So there's a quest log. See, I don't understand why there was never a quest log in Pokemon. I feel like that would have made it so much easier for me as a kid. I got lost all the time. Take a look at the map. Oh, there it is! Look at the map! Oh, now we can actually redraw the map uh, that Claire made a while back with, like, the actual pathing and everything, the, 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 the course that you follow. Look how beautiful that border is, too, man around the outside of the map. Fucking gorgeous. It's like my trainer ID. That's me! I got three grand in the bank already. No wonder I don't want to leave home. Started February 10th, 2023. Okay, so the date is right. That's cool. Check my bag. Medicine, Pokeballs, HMs, TMs. Oh, the HMs are back. Whoa, going to old school. I'll have to see how I feel about that. I've I've been personally I've been a big fan of the removal of HMs, but maybe they changed HMs so that they don't they, you can actually delete them or something. I don't know. I'll be curious to see how that works. That is very cool. Got my running shoes. All right, let's go visit the neighbors. I believe our plan is to have both HM and key item equivalent, so a move slot isn't required if you don't want. Oh, okay, cool. I like that. Look at this kid. I remember this kid from uh, from Ruby and Sapphire, right? You seem a bit old to be starting a journey just now. Are you a procrastinator like my big brother? Stop! Why is everyone in this town on my fucking ass? <laughs> I like this. I like this fucking the this super like business oriented, productive mindset that everyone in this town has. It gives me a force that I need to to come up against here. I love the Whalemer plush from Ruby and Sapphire and the Kecleon. That's big nostalgia right there. Is this your big brother? I almost beat my high score. 
Oh my god. There's something so nostalgic about that sprite turning, holding his Game Boy. Oh my god. Oh, I love it. Here we go. What's mom have to say? Wonder where my Emilio went. He ran on such a hard Oh Emilio Oh wait a minute, I know Emilio. Who lives here? I guess I could check the mailbox to see who lives here. This house looks important. <gasps> look at the the, the, the the Adel Angler plushie! Oh, look at this setup. That bed is huge! That is a sick setup. Giant TV, giant bed. Sustainable Berry Growing Championship 2022. Second prize. <laughs> That's a bit of a shame. Gee, well, here, take one of these for your journeys. Oh, thank you. This is why I always look around in, in Pokemon games. Trainers can't use more than three items in battles against each other. They had to ban it due to rich people unfairly spamming them. Actually, I'm on hard mode, man. I can't use any items in battle. You were hoping for more Arachnoman comics, but it's just a bunch of agricultural journals. What are these, the f***ing berry nerds? It's incredible how much people can achieve by coming together and working in harmony. Small teams with nothing but passion for a project they are doing in their spare time and for Thanks free. For that, Remarkable. I'm gonna cry, you guys. It's so cute. I love it. I love you guys. This is so awesome already. Man, I... Just... Don't make me fucking cry. <gasps> Look at the... Oh my god, the professor's lab is so cute. I love that little atrium. Oh my god. Fucking beautiful. Oh, there you are, Jack. Did you take a walk around town? You kept us waiting. I did. I did keep, take a walk around town. How'd you know? This is Emilio, your newest neighbor. Hi, Emilio. Your brother talks sh about you behind your back. Nice to meet you, Jack. Emilio is originally from Maza, but he moved to Unova when he was very young. Now he's moved back and is excited for the gym challenge. I like that. Because he's he's experienced life outside of Maza, so he's got a different perspective on the world. I wonder how that will play into the core themes of the story. Ah, the Unova region. I just came back from there. I got chased by a bear tick after getting too close to her cub chew. Thank Arceus, they aren't very fast. I wouldn't be here today. Let's just say I'm not in a hurry to return anytime soon. Well, it's not like bear tick roam the entire region. There are plenty of other deadly Pokemon in the Unova that you might have missed. Like the three-headed Hydra that obliterates everything that moves. <laughs> adding adding that to the list of reasons, I will not be going back. Oh no, Siba's close-minded. Well, Emilio, since you're going to attempt the gym challenge, you should know that the nearest gym is in San Serra Gold Town, just northeast of here, above Route 1. The day of the Flow Flowing Petals Festival is happening there tonight. Ooh, so you might... Sorry, day of the what? Why, have you never... I just assumed you knew about it since your parents are Mazia, and I apologize for my ignorance. No worries, Professor. My parents really haven't told me anything about this region, come to think of it. Oh, interesting. Oh, well, the Day of the Flowing Petals is a tradition in which we honor family and friends who have passed on into the afterlife. I see. Maybe you could teach me a bit about more a bit, a bit more about it once we get there. I want to catch up on the stuff I've missed about Maza, which seems to be just about everything. Thanks for that, top guy. Oh, I'd really love to teach you, Emilio. Believe me, I really would. But unfortunately, I'm much too busy with my work today. Yeah, Siva's. She's she's crazy. I'm planning on showing Jack a bit of my research, and then, whoops, bit of a missing icon there. Of course, Jack, you attend the festival every year with your parents, right? Surely you know everything there is to know about it at this point. Why don't you accompany Emilio to San Sara Gold Town? Better yet, why don't you start your Pokemon journey now as well? After all, you freed up from taking care of those Pokemon for me now. Yeah, that would be fun. Come on, Jack, what do you say? I'm sure you'd make a great rival or partner. Uh, well, I like I like I can I can characterize myself just like silently, just like yes. Oh boy, I, I, guys. I can't speak Spanish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. I can't speak Spanish. Mara Velis Veloso. I can't. Marvel. Mar. I can't. Marvelous. <laughs> I can't. Marvelous. In that case, please go over to that table and pick up those Pokeballs, or put those Pokeballs down. Oh, I hope. <gasps> Do they stay in those balls? Cause that'd be awesome. Okay, I'm picking my starter now. It's big. 
It's big. All right, hold on. All right, who's ready for the shiny hunt? We're, we're soft resetting for shiny Malukata. Here we go. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to soft reset for a shiny. I would, though. <gasps> Look how beautiful those are. All right, time to soft reset for the shiny Malukata. Oh, and it shows me. Oh, it shows me the nature. Oh, so they want you to soft reset a little bit, don't they? Oh, that's cool. Go for the speed runs. Naughty. Gentle. All right, I'm not gonna soft reset for nature's aura shiny right now, as much as I'd want to. All right, what am I gonna name my Malakata? Chat, tell me, what am I naming this bad boy? Oh yeah, try the random names. Let's let's take a look at the random names. Spring, Serenade, Carrot, Caleb. <laughs> I like Caleb. Menthu. Uh, what? Murphy Seco? <laughs> what? Generic Nam? <laughs> Slayer Human? <laughs> Panko 7? Wait, I- Panko 7 is good, Claire, but hold on. Human? <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go with human, to be honest. That's pretty fantastic. Gotta go with human. Figured the two of you would get along, and now you have plenty of time to get even closer. That's right, since you decided to leave on your journey, you get to bring human with you. That's your first part. Human! Yes, there he is! Human! So cool! It is so cool, Emilio. I think I'll choose you. Of course you would. You would, Emilio. All right, I guess I'll have a battle with you. Wait, in here? Let's go. No, Emilio. <gasps> there he is. Look how cute Emilio is. Oh my God, guys, the sprite work is incredible. Come on. Oh, here we go. We're getting, look at the human. He's small. Look how small. Oh my God, guys, this looks incredible. Look at this menu! Oh my god! It's incredible. I'll be that guy. I'll use withdraw. Oh, I forgot I'm on hard mode. Wait a minute, I'm on hard mode. I wonder if that affects, like... The... the... Did he use Leer because I used withdraw? Is he just gonna negate all my stat changes? No, okay. That'd be really funny <laughs> if it used Leer every time I use Withdraw. Am I gonna lose this? Am I gonna lose my first battle? No way. I should have given him an Orin Berry. Hold on, wait a minute. Ah, items are banned! No! I'm gonna lose the first battle. No way. Oh, thank God. Okay, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> This close. <laughs> this close. Okay, I gotta make sure to give human an orange berry. Oh, look at the EXP bar! I didn't realize that was the EXP bar. Oh, nice. Okay, they give me a stab move, like, at level 6. That's really nice. I lost? Just you wait. I'll train up a team you'll never beat. It, it's possible, Emilio. It's very possible. I almost <laughs> lost in the first battle. I think you two are all set to begin. Race you to the exit, Jack. Wait, I just remembered. I guess his excitement got the better of him. Jack, take these with you and give one to Emilio when you catch up to him, won't you? Is it a Pokedex? Yeah, it's a Pokedex. Yeah, it is. I wrote the entries for the Pokemon myself, so I would, it would be as if I'm teaching you anyway. Take these as well. Ten for you and ten for Emilio. Ten Pokeballs. Thank you, Professor. Advice for catching wild Pokemon. Whoa, that's cool. I can catch wild Pokemon? That's awesome. Pokeballs are empty, which means you can use them to catch wild Pokemon. Thank you. I think I understand how Pokeballs work. Feel free to come over for a resupply. Oh, I can get Pokeballs from you? All right, let's check. Check the Pokedex. 
Look at this. Oh, I already have Foresight registered because I was taking care of it. Pokedex has an advanced page. Go over this page. You'll be able to see advanced information about the selected Pokemon if you have caught it. Whoa! Press C to go to the next page. Information is also provided on the Untamed Lucky, but this feature provides an alternative view to, to an alternative to view the information offline. Very cool. Very look at these quality of life. I know that Pokedex entry already. Hello, sweetie. Siva just called me to tell you that you're finally sorry that you decided. <laughs> My mom is always on top of me. Oh, is the mouse in the way? Sorry, sorry, sorry. So proud of you for wanting to head out there and explore the region as well as your own identity. If you ever need to t me to tend to your Pokemon or just want some company, feel free to pay me a visit, all right? Have fun now and don't forget to be careful. Love you. Bye. Thanks for that, tough guy. Oh, mom, you didn't even really let me get a word in there, but love you too. All right, Route 1, here we are. Hi, Emilio. There you are, Jack. Got Pokeballs for me and a Pokedex too. Sweet, thanks. Oh, by the way, your dad passed by just now saying he was going to work. Tell me to give you this and tell you that it helped him a lot as a new trainer. Poke Vile, a what? Heals your party, recharges at the Pokemon Center. Interesting. Control plus auto heal to activate in your party menu. Interesting. So that's a, a fun little feature. Okay, so I have a, a portable Pokemon Center. All right, this route used to, looks like a prime location for catching some mons to strengthen my team before going to the gym. Maybe you should catch some too. It's so exciting already. I think I will catch some. Let's have a little look-see. First wild encounter, here we go. <gasps> a Sunkern! <laughs> but I already forgot its name was here, but. All right, you know me, I gotta, I gotta go fill out that Pokedex. Wow, big damage from Sunkern. We, uh, we completionist. Big question is, do I get EXP for catching Pokemon? First Pokemon caught. My, my Monograss team is really shaping up. Okay, good. Do get EXP for catching Pokemon. Good. We like to see it. When a sunken evolves, it often leaves a seed shell behind. This makes for a tasty, popular smack. Oh, I'm so glad they gave special uh, Pokedex entries for the Maza region. Tasty and popular snack among older Maza residents. Have little sunken seeds. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I could go for some sunflower seeds right now. Give a nickname. Um, well, let's, let's see. Sandy, that's honestly pretty cute. Ash, Mercury, Pimento, that's pretty cute too. Jetson, Panic! Okay, that's it. That's the name. Panic is the name for the Sun Garden. That's a great name. Okay, wait. Yes! Panic is full of energy. Human? Thanks for that, tough guy! <laughs> you... Human obediently sat down at Jack's feet. <laughs> that is just so uncanny when his nickname is Human. <laughs> oh no, Mr. Mime Energy. <gasps> Bakuna! The, the cry for Malokata is perfect. Yeah, let's catch me a Bakuna. Bakuna Matata. There we go! Route 1 normal type! Alright, I wonder how many Pokemon are in the, the first route. I think I do have to name her, name her M M Matata. Pakuna Matata. I can get struck with two different cease and desists. <gasps> Renner! Yes! A Renner! Okay, okay, wait.
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Remind me of this. I want to listen to their cries in the, in the Pokedex. Let's go. Renner got... I paste Renner's cry off meep meep. That's pretty great. Hold on, I gotta listen to this. I gotta go into the Pokedex. I'll name him Meep. <gasps> so cute! Meep meep. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, I would love for there to be a, a way to play the cries in the Pokedex. Oh, a Floette. There are a lot of Pokemon in the first route. I I, I think I'm just getting lucky that I'm I'm encountering all of the, <laughs> the Pokemon. No dupes so far. Quite a... Quite a, a variety in the first... In the first route. La baby, the baby. Mazda shop owners leave berries outside their store in the hopes that Flo baby come by to help their outdoor Thanks flowers that, bloom. Guy. Oh, that's so cute. Cooper, Clementine, Teeny, Faith, Pharaoh. That's sick. Pharaoh, the Flo baby. First trainer. Okay, wait, hold on. Here we go. Look at that, <laughs> youngster Julian. <laughs> All right, here we go. First battle. Hit you with the baby doll eyes. Hard mode, so. Okay. Bit of net neutral. Oh, shit. okay. I gotta, gotta think about this here. Oh, she's left. Okay, I'm kind of getting outplayed here, guys. Uh, auto heal future will automatically select items from bag and use to your Pokemon. Oh, that's cool. Use auto heal. Highlight the Pokemon you want to heal from the party menu. And press the button next to auto heal. So, highlight the Pokemon. Oh, right, I can't heal in battle. I'm on hard mode. I'm on hard mode. I'm panic. Okay, uh, f poke there's no way any of these Pokemon win. I picked hard mode. I'm in hard mode here. All right, I'll be that guy. And just use my starter. Still leveled up Matata a little bit. How did I lose? I don't know. It was close, Joey. It was f***ing close. Sorry, Julian. Another Sunkern. Sorry, Sunkern. You have to die. <gasps> yes! Mini Mello. Let's go. Adorable. Look at that little sprite. Love him. Oh, I wanted to see if the Pokeball for... Um... My Malakata was actually different. Gotta catch the mini Mello, are you kidding me? Okay, now I kinda wanna level up the mini Mello. What, oh, I actually don't even know. What level does Chikata evolve into Noctavispa? There's no way I could get a dark type that early, right? Um. Uh... Too long. I want to put. I'll just do this. Evil. Oh, I can check in the advanced decks. That's good to know. Good to know.
Oh, I can't see. One, seven, one, ten, eight. Watch. Click C. Ah, there we go. Oh, that's, that's cool. Generation 9 color brown. Interesting. Shape, head, and base. Evolves to Chikata level 10. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. We got to evolve our Minimello. Okay. Big, 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 big. Do evil. Uh, go for the struggle bug. Get that stab. There he goes with this bug, right? Super effective. Oh, I think they told me that they... Wait. What? Bug isn't super effective against Ray. Did they change that? Interesting. Okay, a little buff to bug. Uh oh, double the Pokemon, double the fun. Okay, double battle, first double battle. That, Look at guy. these sprites, they are adorable. Emma. Oh, I like how the, the follower Pokemon comes out behind you there. Is this Simon Kid 2? I guess Bug being strong against Fairy makes sense. I just, I, I like, I, I, I did a double take for a second because I was like, okay, there's no way that Flabebe is a grass type. I, I know this for a fact. But then I used Struggle Bug and it was super effective and I was like, oh wait, is Flabebe a grass type? Am I wrong? Stockpile. Oh, stockpile early on. Hell yeah. Uh, give it a string shot, honestly. Wait, stockpile seems strong. Uh, yeah, I guess I could rid a pound for spit up, honestly. That's cute because he he keeps the honey in his and then he spits it back up like in the Pokedex. We like to see it. Oh, the sun's coming up. I love the day-night cycles. Hey, Jack, I think I've caught enough Pokemon. Thanks for that, tough guy. Sans Gold. It's straight ahead, right? I'll be waiting for you there. Hopefully you get there in time to witness me beating the gym. Probably. Who's this nerd? You over there, you're a trainer, right? I meant that, I mean with that many Pokeballs. Of course you are. A couple of hat-wearing loudmouths buffoons. Ah, <gasps> buffoons? Who think they have the right to patrol the... Hacienda. Hacienda? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Just because their boss owns most of it. It's the Hacienda. Whew, I'm out of breath. So you just confiscated the plans for the Crop Master Inventor I'm working on. More like they stole, actually. They said it didn't fit their boss's vision for the Hacienda. They control the place like they control the place. Like, what? Anyway, there's no Pokemon that challenges it get them back, but you're a trainer, so I bet you can put them in their place. Sure, I can do that for you. Thank you for the water break. <clears throat> I'm counting on you. Okay. Okay, so I now have a, do I have a side quest Thanks, now? Man. I have a side Bye. quest, I think. Let me check my objectives here. And the thieves who stole the plans. Come. Okay. Who's this guy? Everyone doubts my bugs, but they're really strong. Not stronger than my bugs. <clears throat> okay, actually, wait. You probably are stronger than my bug. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. String shot, you fool. That attack doesn't do any damage. That one was though. When I was a kid, I, I never, like, when I was, like, really young and I first started playing Pokemon when I was, like, seven years old, I did not understand stats or status effects or moves that lowered stats at all. 
So when trainers used moves that just lowered stats, I was like, what is the point of that? Why would you do that? Ladybuzz here! Uh... One time, one time I ate an orange ladybug on a dare. My tummy hurt, but I was brave about it. I'm, it's a great story. <sighs> Your pathetic bug Pokemon are no match for my starter. My Pokemon are really strong. You got that damn right. <gasps> Cornfield. No, if I can get Zia though, it's all over. If I get that early game Zia Zaya, bro, let me see that Zia Zaya. Thanks for that, tough guy. That's a Badoo. I don't want this. Sh Although, actually, wait, Mozzie and Roserade is gra as ghost, isn't it? That might actually be helpful to have this. I'll give it a nickname. I'll name it Buddy, because I have zero creativity. Uh, I'll send Buddy to a box. I'm not going to evolve that. <gasps> I heard a low tad. I heard a low tad. See, I told you I was good at recognizing Gen 3 cries. Need to get richer. Oh, hi. I see you're a respectable trainer. Would you like to make an investment in my company? What? What? Wait a minute. Am I, <laughs> am I getting invited to an MLM right now? What? Wait, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on. What, what, what is happening? <laughs> Imagine all the huge stonks you'd make. Oh, there's a bit of a spelling error there. A gr grammaric syntax error. Don't let your dreams change. One thousand, you can produce huge amounts of money. Is it payday? Am I teaching them payday? Is that what it is? Ah, it is payday, okay. It is an MLM! <laughs> I am literally, I am literally investing in an MLM. <laughs> A tiny percent of the money. Oh. What? Is this intentional? Did I just sell my soul? <gasps> Wait, can I encounter Pokemon in here? I hear that low tad again. Oh, it doesn't look like I can. <gasps> It's it's eating the girl it's eating the corn. No! Pakuna, you're eating the corn! Get out of there! I just turned into Jerry Seinfeld for a second. That's so cute. It's eating all the crops. I want a Zia Zaya. There's, there's no way Zia Zaya isn't in there. I'm so glad that you can encounter Pokemon in the corn. That Lotad is taunting me. This is... Ugh, this is not Zia Zaya. Come on, this is it though. This is the Zia And it's gonna be shiny too. Yes, yes, Zia Yes! There they are. Let's go. Boy, that does so much damage. Holy sh I need another grass type that knows absorb. It knows helping hand. Let's go. We're renaming our Zia Zaya, guys. Ancient myth tells a story about how humanity was created by Zia Zaya, garnering them a huge amount of respect in the Maza region. Um, oh, what are we naming it? Let's hit the randomizer. I really like the randomizer. Cyclops. Zack and Cody. Pop Secret. I'm naming it Pop Secret. That's fire. 
That is fire. Add to my party, you kidding me? Get rid of panic. Pop secret, let's go. Alright, let's get some of these berries. Oh, let's save, actually. Love those Gen 3 berry trees. Oh. Well, actually, you know what? It's sustainable. Plant a berry. Pick a berry, leave a berry. I like that you can plant berries again. I, I miss that. I don't recognize that card. I love me some fishing. Fishing be my life these days. Yes! Fishing! Let's go! over those mushrooms. Oh, oh, it even... Oh, I can use sweet scent. Oh, that's cool. A bite! First fishy! A dupiter! I don't like dupiter. Get them fish! That's another dupiter! Stupider. Let's do this stockpile. Deli bird is pronounced like Deli 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 bird. Deli bird. Yeah, I guess I always pronounce it Deli bird. A Deli bird. That that makes sense too. I can't run, I gotta... I gotta... train up my Pokemon. You're right, I probably should just... Probably should just continue playing the demo. This is this is how I play Pokemon games. I, I always grind early on. Wait, what the fuck did it just move? Oh, in fact. I like the animation for spit up, it's kinda gross. Get some big EXP for evil. All right, one more fish, and then we'll keep going. Thanks for that, tough guy. Fucking another Dupiter? These are not fish. I went fishing. All I call were bugs. Now poor Mini Mello is low health again. Oh, the berries grow fast. Oh, that's nice. <gasps> Who are these troublemakers? Hey, kid, you're not allowed to be here. This is private land. Yeah, scram. I'm here for the plans. That crop master Thanks thing would be an eyesore. Guy. We can't allow that on a pro- Oh, so these are the- these are the traditionalist guys. They're possessive of their land. They don't like new technology. Boss says it just make them lazy. Interesting. Okay, the themes are showing through. But those plans, you have to get through our Pokemon first. Oh, this theme is fire. <gasps> yes, the Chupi! Okay, I really want to leave Evil in so that he can use a bug type move right now. But unfortunately, he is way too low health, so I'll switch him to them. Get that payday, you know what? Honestly, let's get that payday. <gasps> the pursuit predict? I wasn't ready. I was not ready for the fucking big brain plays. What? Man. 
the damage? What the hell? Oh my god, I'm getting destroyed right now. Oh no. Alright, pop secret, get in there. Secret, you might be dead. Okay, thank God. I like the cry for Tachupi. That's good. Oh, got two levels out of that. Big. Oh, That's a bit of a shame. All right, well, we made it out of there. We only lost three Pokemon. <laughs> What's up with kids these days? Right? This used to be so much. E I love their dialogue. That's fantastic. Thanks for that, tough guy. Oh my god, their personality is fantastic. Trainers are so much stronger these days. Who wants the boss recruits? Alma. Alma. Like to our bark. Yeah, I like that. Hope you're right. Not the plans? Too bad. We have no idea where they are. <laughs> I thought you hid them in the field in the back. Why would you say that? Let's get out of here. Oh, he's still here even though he's dead. Go in here? Oh, I can. What goes on in here? Something has been eating our crops lately. It really hit us hard. We can't make quotas. Oh no. Forest slacked off from the crops. I just know it, but I can't ever seem to catch them. Thanks for that, tough guy. <gasps> A little colo! <laughs> Can't cure you. Colo colo. Times of drought, Ludo helps us, Ludo helps us out on the farm by using Wayne Dance. That's true. Ten generations, isn't that cool? That's very cool. Oh, and then here's the little courtyard in the middle. <gasps> Repel. It's always good. Oh, carrot farm there, adorable. Ah, uh, these... The, the, the overworld environments are f***ing beautiful, guys. This is an oddly sparse room. Month on this floor. You can use them for what do you mean potions already exist? Here, take and see for yourself. It's way better than anything you get in the store. It restores 21 HP. To do. Who are you? Me? Oh, I was just trying to figure out what we're going to do about our crop yield this season. See, something has been happening to our crop out back. It's amazing missing food out there. We have no idea what's going. Maybe it's Pokemon? I don't know, but it's really set up from reaching our quota. Seem like a strong Pokemon trainer. Will you help us figure this out? Ooh, another side quest. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you so much. The field in question is just up the path. I love how many side quests there are. A little, a little uh, deviation from the main path. Oh, I wanted to catch... I wanted to see if I can catch any fish Pokemon. All I found was... Uh, Dupiter. <gasps> Pumpkins! Look at the pumpkins and corn! Oh my god, that's so cute. Wait, that pumpkin's shaking. <gasps> Is there a Pokemon in the pumpkin? <gasps> a Pumpkaboo! In the pumpkin! That's so cute! <laughs> that's fantastic. Oh man, is my party still low? Oh yeah, wait. I got f***ed up. Hold on. My team got beat up. Oh. I just used Tackle on a Pumpkaboo. Alright, I... Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna see if I can catch this in a Pokeball at full health. And if I can't, I'm running away and healing my Pokemon. I forgot that half my team was fainted. Sorry, Pumpkaboo. Not right now. Oh, it was the pumpkin! <laughs> That's so cute! Well, that, uh, scarecrow looks like a, uh, cacturn. That's really cute. Okay, hold on. Before we continue, I have to go heal my Pokemon. I really love the, the cacturn scarecrows. That's so sick. Another Zeazaya. This one has to die, though, unfortunately. Training up 
my mini mellow. Oh, sorry, Zia No target for helping him. I love Zia's cry. It reminds me of C dot. You can learn aromatherapy. Whoa. The the support the support build. Um. Thanks for that, tough guy. I you know actually I'm gonna keep my moves. Evolve. Oh wait, I wanted to see if we can interact with this. Birds do not care about this guy. <laughs> that was worth it. That was worth walking through the corn patch, the cornfield. Mincino? Um, Mincino is totally mid tier for me. Yes! Our first evolution! Evil is evolving! Here he comes, Chikata! Yes! He's less evil now. Got a strong mandibles can cut through thick leaves with relative ease. The leaves they harvest are used to feed other members of their colony. Love Chikata. Still one of my favorite Pokemon that I designed for this region, honestly. It's, like, so simple, but I, I really think this is one of the best Pokemon. And, like, one of the most convincing. Like, this feels, out of all of the Pokemon that I made for the Maz region, I still feel like Chikata is one of the ones that feels like a real Pokemon. Um... Probably swap out Struggle Bug for Fury Cutter, right? Because I think its physical attack is higher than its special attack. I'll swap it out. Plus, Fury Cutter is a nice move to have in the story mode. Just spam it. I didn't know Fury Cutter had 95% accuracy. That's kind of cruel. Feels more like a Pokemon than half of Scarlet and Violet's decks. Whoa. Whoa, we got we got an Edgelord over here. I don't know. If you're looking for someone to whine about Scarlet and Violet designs, I'm not the guy. I really love the designs in Scarlet and Violet. I think uh I think they were great. Thanks for that, tough guy. People I I think it's just because I'm I'm becoming old and jaded to that kind of critique, but, like, I've been hearing the same critique about new Pokemon games since Gen 5, where it's like, oh, they don't feel like real Pokemon. It's just, it's just how it is. When new Pokemon come out, they don't feel like real Pokemon. Okay, Pop Secret. Uh, sorry, I really thought you could handle that Pop Secret. Uh, I need to train him a little bit more. There we go. Humans got this, though. I think every generation has designs that I really like and designs that I really don't like. Um, the only one is probably Gen 3, I think. Actually, no, even Gen 3 has designs that I really don't like. Volbeat, Electric. Um, what's up here? Metatite. Oh, I hate Metatite. Look at Chikata's little overworld sprite. Oh my god, it's so cute with the little leaves. Oh my god, I love it. Jump the little. Oh, that's so cute. Nice. Am I bringing pumpkin view of each size? Sure. Oh, that's fun. See, I like stuff like this. Give you little side quests to do. And like Pokemon games do have stuff like that sometimes, but they they don't they don't treat them like side quests. They they they're just like if you remember, come back here and and show them your big pumpkaboos. Oh, there he is. Yeah! Here are the crop master plans. Thanks for that, tough guy. That's alright. You were a little wor you were a little rude, but it's okay. This fish is gonna be capable of planting crops much more efficiently than any other machine on the market. I'm gonna be rich. See. Already. How how do we feel about this? Replacing the workers with machines. I don't know. 
Look how pretty this is! I recognize this music. This is definitely from Gen 3. Is this Lava Ridge Town? Oh my goodness, with the petals blowing in the wind? <gasps> Whoa, look at the fountain! Is that Lance? Lance just chilling with a barboge? <laughs> that's such a that's such a, a Pokemon thing to say. A, a Pokemon NPC. I'm gonna catch you with my extreme speed. Bro, you can't catch your fing barboach on the land. Needed flower they were hardly ran out yesterday. Oh sorry, buddy. Is this alive? Oh wait! <gasps> Specific books I can interact with? Would you like to read this book? Tale of the Flowers, Volume 3. I wouldn't know that if Rosemary would try to bring her back. Wait, 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 hold on. This is Volume 3. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I don't want spoilers. Where's Volume 1? No, 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 no. I, I gotta start at the first one. Oh, here we go. Tale of the Flowers, Volume 1. Long time ago, when your great grandmother's great grandmother was a wee child, there was a woman. She had a partner at the time, a Roserade. Back in those days, they didn't use Pokeballs, and Pokemon were feared. Good, good lore consistency there. So such a relationship was nearly unheard of. But she and Roserade were, near, were inseparable, like sisters. No one knew why, but one was never seen without the other. She was more practical, precise, and scientific, while Roserade was more passionate and creative. I like that duality. Ties in with the themes. Very cool, very clever. Both cared more than was healthy about their home. Each made the other stronger, and they were a pair to be feared. End of volume one. Ooh, this this lore. The woman and the Roserade beat back the many rowdy war gangs who tried to lay claims to the village and chased away the would-be bandits. Wait, 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 I feel like I missed something. There's a war, they're, they're bandits? Those are the rumors that they single-handedly defeated an entire Noctovis behind when it came to Valder Village. One day, though, a wandering group of merchants came to town. One of them was still afflicted with the lingering remnants of a deadly foreign disease. Less than a day after the merchants Thanks departed, the woman guy. fell ill. The local healers tried their best, but she was on death's doorstep within a week. Huh. Okay, I feel like I'm missing something from that story, but I guess they were just fighting off. Bandits. Teleflowers only three. The woman knew that Roseray would try to bring her back from the dead, even if it killed them itself in the process. Or worse, tear the boundaries between the living and the dead. <gasps> so as her final wish, the woman asked Roseray for flowers at her funeral. Not a simple bouquet or arrangement, but a sea of flowers that would adorn the village. Then she asked the rest of the village to celebrate the eve of her death in the same way for years to come to distract Roseray from his grief. Despite its efforts, Roseray was unable to control itself. Though it was exhausted from the preparations for the celebration, its power was still potent. Power leaked into the world, thinning the barrier that separated the lands of the living and the lands of the dead. The outburst of power sapped away Roserade's own life, and it passed away right then and there, alongside its partner. However, Roserade's spirit still lingers. Every year on the night of the festival, the souls of those past are closer to returning than ever. In their honor, we celebrate the Day of the Flowing Petals, to entertain the souls of our loved ones on their day back amongst the living. Wow, I'm not even kidding. This is going to sound really chill. Cheesy. I actually have goosebumps. <laughs> I actually have goosebumps reading that story. That's kind of... Uh, that sounds lame. But legitimately, that is such a brilliant way of tying in the, the, the origin, the source material of what inspired me to create Mozzie and Roserade and giving it new context within this fictional world. That's so beautiful. That's fantastic. I really, I, I did not expect this level of, of, of finish in this demo. I, you know, I, I had seen screenshots, right? So I knew that like, it looked good, but I had no idea the writing team was working their asses off too. I mean, that's just so great. I love books. I come here every day to read. My favorite books about Sans Serigold's history. They're those three books on the back wall. Oh, I should have talked to you first. That, by the way, I, 
while I made, I designed Mozzie and Roserade and, and Mozzie and Roselia, I did not, I had nothing to do with that lore. That was entirely made by a fan. Awesome. Look at a little Roselia. <gasps> I love the cry of Roselia. Every year I try to catch some titles to press into my scrapbook, and every year I get distracted by the food vendors instead. <laughs> then the writers did such a good job capturing that tone that all the NPCs have in Pokemon games. What is it? <laughs> That's perfect. That is so perfect. Nice, okay, now I can catch some some mons. I'm just throw a save in there. My husband's very strong, and he's a real sweetheart. Oh, that's so cute. Such great flavor. <gasps> the lights come on! As the day-night cycle... Guys. They went so hard. You did not have to go this hard. The lights come on at nighttime? What the hell? They went so hard. Crumble, crumble, Eevee's everywhere. Okay, this is... This is a reference. This is... Who is this? It's low. <gasps> the festival is starting. What? <gasps> wow, this is so cool. It's a time-based event. Once the nighttime comes, I can sense Roserade is getting tired, so this seance will be the last. Can I come up? Certainly, Fabian. Please, come up. Thank you, Alma. Roserade, please, I would like to hear from Camilla. Fabian? Oh, that's so sweet! Okay, oh, I'm so glad I read the, the lore before seeing this. Okay, I love, I love this. So now we know that that Roserade, way in the past, thinned the veil between the, pa the, the living and the dead, and now in the modern day, another... Roserade is has the ability to communicate. Oh, Fabian, I can't explain how happy it makes me to see you in such good health. You've been taking such good care of the boys. I'm gonna cry again! You even bought me some aguave berries. I can't eat them anymore, but I'm so glad you remembered. Guys, I'm actually gonna cry. What the f I'm sorry, but my time here is short. Tell Sophia I said hello when you see her next. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like actually tearing up. That's so sweet. All right, everyone, that will be all for tonight. Roserade must rest. Enjoy the festivities and feel free to come challenge my granddaughter Valentina at the gym if you're feeling brave. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. <laughs> no, I'm not crying. You're crying. The weather for the festival this year is just perfect. Sometimes I wonder if the local Pokemon use sunny day every year to make sure the weather is clear for the festival. I suppose that wouldn't make sense though, with the festival being at night at all. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. Stop! I was so happy you got to hear Camilla's voice. I don't even know who you are! I don't know who Camilla is. But that made me cry. Hey, guess what? Did you know that Millie Mello don't actually eat the honey the nectar they take in? Instead, it just sits there all day so they can use it later. Could you imagine how good they must smell? Oh, how I'd love to be that Pokemon if I only had some honey to cover myself in to smell that great. <laughs> oh, such great dialogue. Is this the, uh, the Pokemon Center? Yes, okay. Oh, look! She has a little vanillish! Oh, I'm so glad they do that. You can see your party up on the screen. Oh, they do have different balls! That... <laughs> out of context, that sounds weird. But... Malukata does get to keep the special Pokeball. Look! It has a special Pokeball. I love that. I love... So, okay, so, me personally, I love catching Pokemon 
in Pokeballs that match the Pokemon's aesthetic, like visuals. I love that. Because it always frustrates me so much that, like, you could only get the starters in Pokeball. Like, some starters you can catch, like, older starters now you can catch in different Pokeballs. But I hate that you can only have your starters in Pokeballs for the most part. So I love that. And I love that you can see their Pokeballs in the, the Pokemon Center. The, the Union Room, though? Yo, they got the Union... Oh, no, this is the Pokemart. Okay, clever. I I, I just had flashbacks. I saw the, the stairs in the Pokemon set. I was like, no way. They got the Union Room. Coffee is fantastic. Oh, the, the Cafe Karacha. I'm always on a today. Apparently, Sun Cafe Karacha can create electric terrain. Do you think you'd show me one? Oh, interesting. So, do I have to show? I want to see what that subquest is. I want to see a Cafe Karacha since they're apparently packed with energy. I love the 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 football player. <laughs> I think I'd be as energized as a flitcher working in a place like this, surrounded by coffee, but alas. Anyway, what can I get you? Oh, I was really hoping I could buy coffee. All right. Let's see. Do you think I'm ready for the gym yet? I feel like I'm not. I'm on hard mode. I love everyone's dancing. That's so cute. Oh, interesting. It seems a bit different from last year, but they seem... It's a bit different from last year, but they seem to stick to the traditional activity of the festival this year. This year's festival is just about the same as last year's festival. Just how I like it. Oh, I like that. I love how the, the NPCs are establishing the tones of the game already. Who's a cute Firefox? Having a Vulpix here seems very fitting. Kind of nervous about dancing. Oh, that's all right. No one here is very good at it. I love that these... That's so cute that they're dancing together. Such a nice breed. This person has suspiciously blue hair. What do you mean, dance? I'm just having fun with my bestie. This is an A and B conversation. See your way out. Whoa! Who are these characters? They also feel like references. <gasps> the gym. Here we go. Okay, my rival. Emilio's already beaten the gym. Valentina girl is no joke. I still think you can beat her, though. Go and give her your best shot. Oh, I'm glad that he's not, like, easy peasy, bro. She won nothing. Because I, I... I mean, I know that was intentional in older Pokemon games, but me personally, as a very insecure kid, I hated the rivals that were like, this is too easy. And then I came and I sucked ass. <gasps> Whoa! The music! Guys, the music. <laughs> I was like, I don't- this is definitely original, I don't recognize this, and I was like, wait. I do recognize this. <laughs> The gym is a cemetery and it's playing spooky, scary skeletons. <laughs> Come on. That's fantastic. Oh my god, this is beautiful. If you come to fight my big sis, Valentina, you gotta go through me first. Now show me what you got. I like that her, her sibling is working here. Oh, double battle. Okay, I was not expecting the double battle, actually. To be perfectly honest. Okay, I seem to be somewhat appropriately leveled. Uh, you sweet scent. And I don't think any of these are physical attackers, but. God damn these f***ing fuse rays. Oh, <laughs> do one more. Let's do one more. Uh... Damn. That don't do a lot of damage, though. Y 
Yeah, the Fury Cutter! Okay, well, you're, you're really trying, Matata, and I, I appreciate that. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Okay. What level does uh, Pakuna evolve at? Let's check that. <laughs> the music. I already forgot. <laughs> Uh, what level does Pakuna evolve at? Twenty. Yeah. All right. So I probably won't get to that point. Let's actually switch. Can I encounter Pokemon in here? Whoa! I can encounter Pokemon in the gym. Duskull. Oh, it just immediately eats the berry. I'm not expecting that. Can I leave and come back and heal? Classic gym. Emilio! <laughs> oh, I can dance with Emilio? Yes! Yes! That's so great! Oh my god, I just imagine us going absolutely wild. The thing is, I'm that guy who's just gonna level up, like, two Pokemon really high level. Oh, I can go into the mausoleum. <gasps> can I catch this? Yes! <gasps> I love that! Special Litwick? Oh, that's such a cool idea! Okay, I definitely don't want that. This. That's so cute. Whoa, that's fire spin animation is cool. I don't recognize that. What? Is that from an existing Pokemon game? Why the why the f did I bring this thing? It's gonna do no damage. <laughs> Oh, Matata, you're gonna fucking die. Oh no. You're doing no damage. Matata, you're gonna fucking die. The mausoleum. Alright, Pharaoh. Sorry, I haven't trained you at all, and you are also just 100% going to die. But maybe I can catch this Litwick and save you the, the stress. Minimize? You gonna do me like that right now? <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not happening. It's just not happening. When I was younger, my brother and I would play hide and seek in the graveyard. We got in so much trouble. Now that I'm older, I know this isn't the place to do that sort of thing. I still like to think that sometimes he's laughing about our old adventures. Wait. Is your brother dead? Thanks again for listening to me. People rarely give me their time to die. Oh no. Oh no! His brother's dead! His brother's dead! Oh no! Oh. I. It was my idea to make the ghost type gym leader the first gym of the game because I liked the the character, the idea for the character that we had. I'm understanding now why people were like, don't make your first gym a ghost type gym leader. <laughs> because having a Pokemon with a type immunity right at the beginning of the game is is kinda rough. But you know, I guess I guess Gen 1 you have Brock. Brock has ground types, but you can't, there are no electric types that you catch that early on in the game, so it doesn't really matter. Unless you started with Pikachu. You need to explore Mirror near the Hacienda to find some dark type moves. Hint, hint. Okay. 
Maybe I'll go back. Alright, let's go back. Let's follow this subtle advice here. <gasps> oh, Cafe Karacha! Hello? Cute little sprite. The bean! I, it seems like different Pokemon spawn at nighttime. That's really funny that Cafe Garage just spawns at nighttime. <laughs> the cry! That cry is fantastic. The subtle da 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 da. That's fantastic. That's that's the da 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 da. No, I, uh, well, yeah, what the hell? I'm not using this. Pharaoh can fuck off. Oh, shit, I got sniped. I'm cooling off in the corn. Hopefully, the boss doesn't find me. Oh, the boss is on your ass, man. He knows. He does look tired, though. <laughs> the cry, I can't. <laughs> Corn is surprisingly shady. Alright, let's go. We're gonna beat the... We're, we don't need dark type moves. We're gonna beat the gym regardless. See if I can evolve a uh, human. We hope you excel. Thank you. Spinning <laughs> Emilio is so great. I love that. I love that you can dance with him. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Alright, let's go. <laughs> the spoo I forgot already about the spooky scary skeletons. Does the Litwick respawn or did I lose my opportunity to catch it? Oh, it doesn't. Oh, f Well, whoops. Whoops. Ooh. Would you like to talk with your ancestors? Honestly, yeah. This music. Oh, whoops, I don't want meep. This music, I... I like this music a lot. Is this original? Because I don't recognize this music. Oh my god, Lidwick. Not doing this today, Litwick. I will sweet scent your minimize. Don't think I will. Oh, it's not Zinnia's theme. I love Zinnia's theme. I could recognize that anywhere. Why are they beating up on human? Human did nothing wrong. <sighs> you know what? Yeah, I'll learn. Growth sounds good, actually. Mm, yeah, better than tackle. We don't need tackle. Oh, meep. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Meep got some serious EXP out of that. <laughs> Leave human alone. Oh, 
Halloween event in Pokemon Masters. Oh, maybe. I haven't played Pokemon Masters, so I wouldn't know. I like that I can learn Sandtone. That's cool. Razor Leaf. Sure. I guess that makes sense. Why wouldn't it know Razor Leaf? Um, I think I'll bail on the spit up and stockpile. I mean, maybe I'll hold on to stockpile, but I don't think I need spit up. I'd rather have Razor Leaf. Is that a no? <laughs> okay, wait. I see Valentina over there. I love this gym, by the way. This is absolutely beautiful. These assets are gorgeous. Um, <laughs> is Leon dead? <laughs> what? Oh, Juan is dead too. Juan the mud prey always staring at the ocean. Samuel, he likes shorts because they are comfy and easy to wear. <laughs> Radicate! <laughs> Oh, there's a little arena. Oh yeah, I forgot about Grim Tears. That was my idea. Intimidate, but for special attack. I won't catch a little little arena. You get to have a water type too, I think. <laughs> I still like Lorraine, yeah. I. Part of me kind of wants to redesign the, the final form of Lilarinia, Yoronakwa, but I won't at this point. Mm. Is baby. Yes, I want to add it to my party. I want to get rid of... I don't need... I don't need Cafe Karacha. Alright, here we go. That's it. Now I'm going to heal my Pokemon and we're actually going to challenge Valentina. Okay, I'm excited for this dialogue. What's the matter, Valentina? Are you not enjoying the festivities? No, Abuela, it's not that. I just... Oh, I get it. You're sad about losing against that boy just now, aren't you? Jesus, Abuela. Right, losing. Well, don't be, dear. It's all part of being a gym leader. Focus your energy on winning the next battle instead. It'll do you much better than to sulk, I promise. Look, your next challenger is already here. Come now, Valentina. Turn that frown upside down. I believe in you. It would be easier if I was actually looking forward to battling. What was that? Oh, nothing. I was just considering your advice. I think it'll prove very helpful for my next battle. Thanks, Abuela. You're welcome, mi pequina flor. That's the spirit. Pequina? Sorry, I don't speak Spanish. Come on now, Roserade. Nap time. Roserade's exhausted. Spirit. The only spirits around here are the Pokemon. She does not have the spirit. I love Valentina. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh my god, it's gorgeous in here. Alright, always save before the gym leader. Must be here to challenge me. Thought after the last I thought after that last guy I could take a breather. I'm Valentina, as Abuela probably told you. I came to the gym I became a gym leader not re only recently because Granny thought I was ready. Well, boy, is she wrong since I'm on a losing streak. <laughs> oh no, Valentina. Due to new rules by the higher up, you can only use as many Pokemon as your opponent, meaning here you can only use three Pokemon max. Oh, hard mode. Okay, that's cool. There we go. <sighs> anyway, let's get to the battle. Here we go! First gym! 
Oh, this is exciting. Oh my god, the sprite! Oh, the music slaps too! I don't recognize this music either. Oh, Lilarina can have drizzle? Oh, sh**. This music slaps. Alright, you know what? Actually, we're gonna take out the little- Oh, wait, Razor Leaf hits two targets? I did not know that. Music is going hard right now. What? I think this kills. Hopefully, I didn't just waste a turn. Yeah, okay. Here we go again. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I'm so sorry, Valentina. I know you don't want to be here. Oh, Pacuna can learn bite. Oh my god, Roselia looks so cute. <laughs> Whoa. Uh oh. Evil, no. This music is great. Well, there goes evil. Seance, what? Oh, cool! That's a cool ability. It steals the ability of whoever it KOs. Very cool. Alright, let's get that... <laughs> Grass Knot. That can't be very strong on, uh... On Renner. Okay, I think we got this in the bag. Doesn't look like humans gonna evolve, though. Boom! Let's go! Ah, oh, human's so close. Yeah, learn magical leaf. We did it, chat. We beat the first gym. Wow, we've got a lot of EXP from that. Ugh, I still- <laughs> I feel bad for Valentina. I'm done with this. It's just been loss after loss since I started. And most haven't even been close. Ugh, and this hair, I'm gonna have to get changed later. I love my family, but I can't live my life conforming to this. I want to move forward, see something outside of this town, meet new people, see new things. I'm done staying still. Here, just take these. I don't care anymore. <laughs> oh no. Valentina, come on, get out of here, girl. You got so much more to, to live for. Oh no. Valentina, I'm so sorry. See that I hate being cooped up in that gym, battling trainer after trainer. I just want to be myself. I want to go out on my own adventure and not worry about meeting, this, meeting the standards of a gym leader in a boring cemetery. Valentina, I've never seen you so fired up about something before. I thought you wanted to take over as gym leader. It's tradition to do so, and I thought you respected that. It's not, it's just not who I am, Abuela. I can't sit in the same room all day and only battle trainers that come to me. I'm so jealous they actually get to leave the gym while I have to stay. But think about the tradition. Our family has run this gym for generations. Not once has anyone refused the title when it was passed to us. 
Why do you care more about tradition than your own family? Whoa, Valentina! It's not like our family can't continue running the gym. Just choose someone else. Better yet, ask someone who's actually interested. Yeah, maybe her brother. Her brother seemed pretty hyped. I don't want to stop being a gym leader only for someone else to take my place and be just as miserable. You're right. I've been ignoring that my family wants for too... I've been ignoring what the family wants for too long just to uphold tradition, believing it was in everyone's best interest. Now I see that I've only been keeping you from being happy. Like this festival, traditions have a place, but they shouldn't be forced upon anyone. Thank you, mi pequeña flor, for reminding me that love and happiness should come first. I received this recruitment letter from an organization claiming they want to preserve tradition at all costs. I realize now that, like me, they are too blind to see that the change is natural, <clears throat> and it should only be hindered in extreme cases. Now I know better. I will never associate with them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thanks for that, tough guy. Pardon me, I came to see Jack, but I couldn't help but overhear what was happening. If your granddaughter wants to start an adventure, I've got just the thing she will need. Oh, Siba, I... Hello. Here, take this Porsight. Yes! I feel like Porsight makes the most sense for Valentina to have. Like, based off of her personality. Hope you're all on an adventure. I can't wait to see what you get up to, Valentina. My, how kind. No way, I'm actually getting my very own partner Pokemon? Thank you so much, Professor. But please, from now on, call me Val. It's the start of a new me, after all. Oh, I love that. I'm so excited. I'm going to beat each and every gym in the Pokemon League. Thank you for being the straw that broke the camera's back. I'm going to get as strong as I can and bar battle you for real. Just you wait. By the way, I never got your name. What was it? Oh, so you're the Jack that the Professor came to see. Well, from now on, we're both going to be adventuring, so expect to see me coming your way at some point for a battle. Before you leave Val- I mean Val. Thank you for appreciating the preferred names, Abuela. You will need a gym badge from our gym in order to, <laughs> to battle in the Pokemon League. How about you battle in the mausoleum against your old Abuela? I think I still have it in me, and I won't go easy on you just because you're my granddaughter. Oh, you're right. Well, I feel much more confidence this time, so let's go. Hurry. Oh, that's so cute. Wait for me, I'm not as nimble as I once was. Oh, I love that. That's so funny, she needs her own badge. <laughs> oh man, did I miss the drama? Yeah, you kind of did, Emilio. But it's okay, it all, it all panned out. Don't worry though, thanks to Jack, you two might have a new rival. Sweet! The more rivals, the more epic the Pokemon battles. That's true. But wait, did Valentina not want to be a gym leader anymore or something? It's Val now, actually. Oh, my bad. Having experienced this festival, I can't see why anyone would want to leave such a life, ever. I... By the way, thanks for showing it to me, Jack. Although, come to think of it, you were gone for most of the time I was here. Oh well, I'm sure you'll have plenty more opportunities to teach me about the Maza region soon. Alright, I'm gonna continue my journey now. I have a champion to beat, see <laughs> ya. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> Crazy Emilio. That Emilio boy is quite eager, don't you think? I hope his seemingly boundless enthusiasm aids him more than hinders him on his journey. Oh, would you look at the time? I really need to head back home now. I have a few things left that need to be done before I go to bed. I wish you the best of luck on the rest of your journey, Jack, and I hope we meet again soon. Goodbye! <gasps> wow, is that it? Oh! <laughs> I like whoever this Apple character is. Aww. Oh, guys. This is incredible. <sighs> Big round of applause. Come on, guys. That's fantastic. This is just the demo. Like, we're just getting started here. Incredible. Man. I really had no idea what to expect when I went into this demo, like, I knew I was going to be impressed no matter what, but this was just honestly, I felt like I was playing a real Pokemon game, but even more, it felt even more special because I was seeing my own work reflected in it, I was seeing the work of all of my fans who are so freaking talented, it blows me away. Um, 
I don't know. It, it feels really good. It feels really good to be part of, uh, of this project. And I, I cannot wait to play more. It is, it is just so great. It's incredible. Um, yeah, huge round of applause to the devs, guys. I mean, this is, this is incredible. I feel, I feel, I feel a way that I have never felt before. This is a very unique sensation that I'm experiencing right now. Um, it's a good feeling. It's a really good feeling. Um, but yeah, this is incredible. Um, if you want to play it for yourself, yes, the demo is available. Um, it's on Poka Community and Relic Castle. Um, I shared links um, in the uh, community tab of the YouTube channel. Um, and uh, I believe... Yeah, it says it uh, on the, the stream right there, too. Um, play this. Play this demo. It's really good. Um, and it just makes me so excited uh, for what's to come. Ugh. I know these backgrounds weren't made for this game, but they are really beautiful. It's evoking very specific nostalgia in me. There's Low. <laughs> Paper towel dealer. Stigma. Space Western. Quite a quite a team. Quite a big team we got here. Translation, yeah, there, there's a, a huge translation team so that everyone can play. Playtesting, very important. Jay. Mad props to Jay, man. <laughs> team organization, gotta be the hardest job for any project. wiki very important i love that there's a, a way to access the wiki right from the game and then you use that same technology to rickroll me that's me Wow, these must be very um, complicated things to code. I know nothing about coding, but like all of these new mechanics that they added, I have no idea how they did that. You can't just copy paste that from other Pokemon games. That's unique to this this game. How come I have Scout TF2 voice lines for notifications? Honestly, I think the reason I did that was because I downloaded a bunch of his voice lines for when I made the April Fools video last year. And then I was like, oh, I can change the alerts for notifications in my Twitch stream. And I was looking through files, my audio files that I already had on my computer. And I was like, I have so many Scout audio files. I'm just going to use these. <laughs> um, and, and thus you have. I mean, Scout's a big part of the Subjectively team. Glycopod user. I like that username. Pizza son. Ooh, I want pizza. Drag taco. Oh, get ready for drag taco, man. Tweaks to essentials. <laughs> I like these credits. I like these credits a lot. <laughs> Special thanks, Chroma and all the other devs from the Cascade region. Oh, cool. I didn't know that people from the Cascade region came over here. <laughs> One TF2 streamer. <laughs> yeah. No copyright infringement intended. Hopefully, uh, we don't get sniped. 
Wow. GG. You unlocked a new minigame. Go back to my room to play it? Hold on. Would you like help develop the Basel Region fan game? Scan the QR code to get an invite to our Discord server or link at the, the bottom of the credits. Text in your game. The credits are text in your game. game holder. Very, very smart. These people are smart. You can now rematch any trainer in the demo to help fill out your demo decks. Oh, interesting.